This is Chad. Chad has some questions about his laptop and has written an email for the laptop's customer service. Once he has finished his email, he sends it to the customer service email address. This is Amy. Amy is an experienced mail agent ready to answer Chad's email. But there are some important systems that must be established before Amy can start working on Chad's email. In order for customer emails to be received and processed by agents, administrators must create and configure an alias, a queue, and a workflow. When a customer sends an email to the company's email alias, it has to travel to the eGain servers, where it is processed through a workflow and assigned to a queue and then assigned to agents. Here's how it all works. This is our customer and our agent. Our goal is to get the customer's email to the agent. When the customer sends an email to the customer service email alias, the email travels through the internet and it then arrives at the eGain servers. Here it is filtered and processed by the system, sent through a workflow to a queue. The agents are then able to pull from the queue or be assigned the email activity and respond. Let's break it down a little more. The mail alias is the email address which customers use to contact customer support. Support at help.com, for example. This alias resides in one of the servers in the eGain system. When the email safely arrives at the alias, the email is processed by a workflow established by the administrator. The purpose of the workflow is to get the mail from the email alias to the queue. Once the email is routed to the queue, agents can pull or be automatically assigned the email activity. The agent can then respond to the email activity using their own responses or articles from the knowledge base. With eGain mail setup, Amy is able to work on Chad's email and send her response, which passes through the eGain system once more and arrives in Chad's inbox.